Go. Do you ever think that there are too many people around you? Well, I think. I live in Kogong, and sometimes when I'm driving in the car and we want to go to school at, at night, um, it sometimes takes two hours. Why? It's not that far away. At the morning it only takes 45 minutes. But at the night there's so much traffic, so it's taking twice as long. And that's making me crazy sometimes. All that traffic, all those people, if there weren't so many people on earth, everything will be better. No pollution, no overcrowded streets, and not as much traffic as now. We have to find solutions against the population growth problem, and we have to follow them. The population on Earth will grow and grow, and when I'm done talking about this, more than 200 people will be born. We don't know that maybe future generation. Oh, the, we don't know that maybe future generation will find few forests, polluted lakes and oceans, few species of wildlife, and overcrowding, joblessness, and crime. The population growth is a snowball rolling down the hill. It's rolling faster and getting bigger. As the population grows, many experts not only worry about this subject, but also their concern about its dangerous results. Hunger, environmental pollution, or even war are some of these threats. So that is why we need to find a solution. As a few suggestions to fi fight overpopulation, we can rely on better education and family incentives. Education is the most important means to f control the population. Family controls topics are common in many developed countries. But on the other hand, it's a subject of less attention in underdeveloped countries. Many married women in these socialists are prone to unintended pregnancy, which eventually leads to childbirth. Lack of proper education causes these sort of problems. Family control helps the women to stop the unwanted pregnancy before the unborn child is conceived. And in that way, we won't get too many not wanted ba babies. Now you might think that I want to get rid of babies, but that's absolutely not true. We just need to slow the growth a bit, or else there'll be too many at the end. Families must teach themselves about the destroying impact our population has on current, on current future generations. If they really want the third child, they must consider to adopt a child rather than procreate again. If women as progenists keep producing children at our present rate, we will transform Earth into one rolling cauldron of humanity. Sets best the heart of this script how it's news. I'm not saying that if you have children, you should have born, but maybe give the third child to a woman who can't have, can't have children. It will maybe sound crazy, but if everyone follows that rule, we can. If everyone starts follows that rule, um, and yeah, I know we can't follow the rules now because we're still just teenagers. But we can spread the rules, share it with the adults, those who can't follow the rules, and when we grow up, we can start following the rules too. If we don't, we may be leaving our daughters and sons to plan the non one to inhabit. I'm afraid that in my future, when I grow up, there will be too much pollution, and my, children will, and my children will live in a world where they can't breathe and play outside like we can now. I'm afraid that there will be so many people that all the big fields will be turned into a big city. I'm afraid that the nature will be destroyed and there will be few animals left. And because of that, I want to share the rules, follow them, and try to find other solutions. I may be exaggerating now, but I can't stop thinking about the risk and what would happen if the population would grow and grow. We would slowly turn, into, slowly turn Earth into a world that would be our biggest nightmare. It is like if we're slowly walking into a big pit of fire. Just look at the Earth now. For years there's been talking about the CO2 problem. If there weren't so many people on Earth, then maybe there wouldn't be a CO2 problem anymore. 
if we do something about the problem, will we be able to avoid the pit of fire? Through education, tough legislation against population growth, and encouraging adoption if one has triples, we'll be able to avoid the threat of population explosion. If, again, if everyone starts following the rules and share the rules, the population growth will hopefully start to decrease. We will have a better future, less pollution, less war, and healthier generations. I'm not saying that we can solve the problem right now, over just a month or a year or two. It would take many years and generations, and that is why we need to start find solutions, why we need to follow them, why we need to share them, so we can make the future good for our children and ourselves. Remember, we all are part of a larger something. We all are part of making the world a better place.